months back, I used to pay about fifty dollars, not much. But when it jumps to seventy and then a hundred dollars, then I start to get concerned. This woman and many others who have called our studios cannot figure out why their electricity bills have risen so high so quickly when they say their usage patterns have not changed as drastically as the bills reflect. Causing more confusion for some residents is the fact that power was cut off in most areas for at least a few days because of recent storms, leaving some residents of the opinion that something is definitely wrong and it starts with surcharges. Uh, my power bill before the new company took over, it used to be in the range of $150 to $250. Now it jumped to, to $500 to $600, which I think, you know, it's something wrong with the bill. And the fuel surcharge is actually more than the bill. When WIV4 News contacted representatives from the Provo Power Company, they pointed to us a press release dated September 16th, stating that high fuel costs would reflect an increase in bills for the month of September. The release read, September's fuel factor rate has increased slightly, which is due to the one-month fuel recovery lag established by a combination of the electricity ordinance and the settlement arrangements with our fuel suppliers. Well, residents say that what has been reflected in their bills for the month of September is far from slight. One resident who did not want to be shown on camera said that if this trend keeps up, he is afraid that persons will soon have to resort to stealing and other illegal methods to pay their electricity bills. Meanwhile, PPC rep said in the same press release that they expect bills to drop this month. It will be a wait and see for customers. Until then, they will have to pay their bills or face disconnection. For WIV4 News, I'm Nikara John.